but uh, the canvas uh, the name itself uh, says that that what does a canvas mean right and uh, in real life and real time in our uh, 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 scenarios uh, whatever the picture actually we see uh, uh, and we always just describe that uh, or we always uh, think uh, an image uh, or uh, a, a good picture good drawing right it's has been like uh, if it has been drawn uh, on based upon a canvas right so it should be more prominent it should be more uh, attractive right so that's how basically the canvas terminology came so, and when uh, the technology integrates uh, with uh, the art or with the design that should not be different the inner meaning of the canvas is same whether technology use it whether the painting board uses it the real meaning basically remains same isn't it now having said that uh, the canvas is a very important factor and uh, a very uh, integral uh, applications portrait which we can embed or embedded within the sales force okay so suppose i have uh, an external system and that external system i would like to embed with salesforce applications so that would be your ideal scenario to integrate the external application inside salesforce as an or as a canvas so i i uh, forget about this uh, ppt for time being let's assume that i uh, got a requirement and the requirement says to me that uh, i have my company i am working for company abc and uh, i have this particular abc company structure all the uh, data right so uh, abc company has uh, some employee data uh, employee data and uh, all analytics data basically they are kept uh, inside uh, a different uh, software let's assume that the different software is your uh, tableau okay so in that case what happens give me a second so in that case what happens uh, i have an application and in that particular application what i want i have the company sorry i i have i work for abc company and this company does have every data about your employee about all the profits all the, uh, valuable details using tableau okay so tableau basically shows the or tableau basically tracks all the data related to my abc company now if i would like to see this particular data about my abc company where does i need to go i need to go to this particular tableau software let's forget about tableau even your salesforce does have this einstein analytics right so even the einstein analytics also does the same thing it basically gives you an analytical view of all the important data so that the company can uh, company can predict uh, their uh, future uh, prominently to go or to get the visibility of those data either you need to navigate to the analytics or you need to go to tableau but ideally you need to have a different login credentials right you need to log in to a different system to get all these data of this abc company whereas this abc company portal the main portal or the main application software is build on your salesforce so i have one side salesforce and i have one side the analytics details inside the tableau 
ओके और आइंस्टाइन एनालिटिक्स ओके now don't you think that that if i would like to go and see this data i have to log in the other system and then i can get all the details instead of that if there is some approach where i can embed this particular application inside my salesforce then then what will happen so in that case what will happen in that case i will go to any vf page i will go to any customize page and below of this particular page i will create a section and in this section i will retrieve all the data from tableau right so this is basically i am embedding a different software a different application all together inside the salesforce and that's where the canvas concept starts okay now having said that there are multiple uh, multiple details of canvas and uh, while multiple details in the sense i there there are couple of factors which is your uh, authentication then your context then your cross domain xhr events canvas apps and visual force so these are the important entities which basically associates with the canvas now each and everything authentication context cross domain xml http request xhr events canvas app in visual force canvas app in chatter canvas app in chatter tab everything is an important entity about your canvas now first factor is that authentication now your question should be that hey you are telling that uh, i can embed a different application software inside my salesforce but uh, aren't we violating the policies of the other software tools how does the authentication actually will work first thing right the second thing is that how does the user will navigate when they will navigate into salesforce and when they will access the different software inside salesforce how the context would be changing how the context would be differentiated because in one side i do have my salesforce and on the other side i do have a different software right embedded over here the third thing is that the how the data would be passed right so is it xml is it json and what is the protocol basically they are using they would be using the http post http get http patch all these particular methods or they would be using a separate things so that the external system would be coming and embedded into the salesforce system and where can i show all the details is it all over the application or is it specific to the some details so these are the important key factors when you would be configuring a canvas inside a salesforce now the canvas app is specifically always remember that it is inside the salesforce it is following all the rules of your salesforce authentication so once a user logs into the salesforce they would be able to access the third party software over here let's assume this quick create this is coming from a third party external application and this is our canvas so when i will log out from my salesforce application this won't be accessible first thing second thing is that all the authentication all the accessibility of this particular section will be always following the user details of the through the user which i have logged in if the user doesn't have the accessibility the profile access i won't be able to access this all details okay now these are the basic things which i need to consider when i will be deploying configuring developing a canvas application and the most prominent things which 
is a use case you can think about that if you go to currently in your chatter tab right so chatter tab basically there are many things which we we we, I, we just uh, do all the chatting right now inside the chatter which i want i want internally to create one section that would be only visible to my salesforce application users that won't be visible to the other users that time i can create an canvas application i can embed with this particular chatter tab okay show that whenever user will come over here they will click over here they will click on the icon and they would be able to do all the details whatever the application gives or the design how it is designed or suppose if you want to create a, or write down a free text you can do that so everything whatever you want to do right now if uh, i i already told that uh, suppose if you want to create a canvas app uh, using a vf page you can always do that uh, using uh, a particular uh, uh, other uh, component like your lightning aura component you can always do that uh, and uh, in case if you want uh, that your canvas app would be supporting or would be compatible with some of your apex class okay so that also you can do now this is the basics of your canvas app now the canvas app settings if is it is a connected app it is also kind of a connected app and you can consider this canvas app basically as a connected app with some enhanced features to make it work seamlessly with external app with Salesforce UI. Some of the additional features of are that Canvas app settings has access method options, which simplifies the way you connected app is getting authenticated and authorized. Then the Canvas app framework provides a lightweight and easy to use JavaScript libraries. Canvas app framework natively provide context services, which tells more about the logged in users, what org are they in and how much area does the canvas provide to display. It natively allows cross domain API calls. It is based on the lightweight JSON eventing framework, which allows you apps to publish and subscribe the events. In summary, all these additional feature on top of the connected app makes a canvas app so i can tell you that all connected apps are canvas app no but all canvas app are connected app remember all canvas app are connected app however all connected app are not canvas app we will see in the demo section that what are the difference when we are transforming a connected app to a canvas app important parameters i already discussed authentication signed request or oauth2.0 oauth2.0 you must be familiar in our salesforce we always are familiar with this particular authentication mechanism whenever we try to log in it always follow that OAuth 2.0 apart from that the signed request signed request is nothing but your client id and secret key how you configure your connected app so that basically is a part of your signed request context context is nothing but the Tableau application has a different context. Einstein Analytics has a different context, and your Salesforce application has a different context. So the, both the context basically here we are mixing up, or we are just free flowing about this both or different context. Then cross domain. Obviously, this domain. So those two applications are from two different different domains. So the Tableau is coming from a different domain. 
and your resource force is coming from a different domain right resizing resizing that means that uh, how much space basically you like to show your canvas app does it uh, show only this particular portion this is the portion or you want to show it inside uh, a big portion okay so this is a resizing then your logo things right so does it uh, do you want this particular canvas app actually appear with a logo like a cup or like a different attractive logo or just you want that particular canvas app to appear just uh, in a free text you can do all those things using this particular resizing logo things and then comes into your that uh, the canvas app in visual force canvas app in chatter feed canvas in your salesforce mobile app everything right now where can you canvas you can place i have already uh, just uh, gave you the details that chatter feed chatter tab console vf page layouts and mobile cards mobile nav open cti and publisher these are the places basically you can place the canvas into your salesforce we will see all these details we will see in our small demo version coming to authentication and permission always remember that canvas whenever you will be configuring there are two authentication mechanism happens one with signed request as we told that it would always follow your connected app client id and secret key that is your signed request and the second section is basically oauth2.0 okay so the oauth2.0 protocol to authorize and acquire an access token canvas configurations okay so canvas configuration i'll come later now let's see that how canvas actually works so what happens when user plug clicks on an application from a chatter tab or via page a sign post request is sent to the external application a sign post request a sign post request is sent to the external application then external application decodes the sign request obtaining canvas request object external application returns the html that is loaded into the salesforce ui and after that what happen the user interacts with external application page with salesforce external application page calls out to containing frame javascript through canvas javascript sdk containing page calls salesforce and eventually this particular external application is embedded inside your salesforce and you are able to see so that's all the the the, the details the theoretical details now let's go and see that that where we can configure or develop our canvas app so always remember while configuring the canvas app you just follow one straightforward formula that is your connected app okay so once you just go to connected app how you create a connected app so you always create a connected app using your create app section right so if you go to create app section you would be creating a new app right so let's assume that i would be creating a custom app then i'll be giving this particular details the test then test then next okay so uh, if i want i can give some image let's forget about that and then just go and give some tabs and next and then you would be giving all the profile details that who would be able to access this and finally you would be saving it right so similarly we created this particular canvas app now once you create a canvas app what will happen this canvas app would be showing under your connected app section so let's navigate this particular canvas app which i have created now this is my canvas app and while configuring this particular canvas app this are the details which you have to provide the first thing is that you have to provide that what are 
the refresh edit policies okay so the first thing is that permitted users there are two options in permitted users one is yours all users may self authorize or admin approved users are pre authorized if i select all users may self authorize that means as an user when i would be trying to access a canvas app inside my salesforce right that time i do not have to give any user id password or any authenticate details to access the third party system because that is the thing i have already set the permitted user all users may self authorize the second user is that second option is that admin approved users are pre authorized so what will happen if i will select this particular option so if i will select this particular option and let's assume that my canvas app is over here so inside here i am trying to access this particular section as in canvas app so if i will select that option the first time what it will ask it will ask for the user id password okay because it is set that that admin approved user would be self pre authorized okay so and that is also based upon your this refresh token policy now refresh token is valid until revoke immediately expire refresh token or after some days first thing is that once you configure a connected app that time always you will get give me a second let me go to the canvas app get apps so if you go to this particular canvas app sorry not manage if i'll go to this canvas app you do have the consumer key and you do have the consumer secret right so these are the two things basically you do have the details now what will happen once i will configure this canvas app this particular consumer key and consumer secret would be responsible to generate a access token right remember when we configure the connected app how we have tested it we have open our postman we have given the details that what is the url basically we would like to hit and then we give this particular details finally we get an access token similarly when this particular detail should be provided this canvas app would be accessible inside a salesforce using that refresh token using that authentication token now once that particular token has been generated that token can expired after certain time that's the policy basically you have seen over here so if i go in the manage right and in the edit policies you can see over here that refresh token is valid until revoke immediately expire refresh token so if i give immediately expire refresh token that means that uh, the token is valid for a session once i will log out from my session then the next time when i will try to access my canvas app from my salesforce that time it won't be accessible because this particular session is not valid anymore right similarly expire refresh token if it is not used for certain amount of days right so this is the basic of the authentication which you need to follow while configuring the canvas app now having said that there are some other factors also okay so what are the other factors if you see over here so this is the connected app i am configuring this is the first consumer key and the secret i app i have got once i configured my connected app and as you know in the connected app basically you have to select that what are the oauth scope 
right the wall scope is full access or wall scope is limited you all will get this particular details while you configure the connected app and the callback url where what is the url basically your integration actually depends upon what is the context your integration or your third party application would be accessible and then return that particular details once you do that then there is one section comes into the picture inside the same connected apps canvas app there is a checkbox you click on the checkbox then all these things actually appears once this section appears you need to give the details that what is the url does it a tab url does it analytics url whatever the url the third party application you would like to access you give it over here then the signed request post there are two signed request comes over here one is your post one is your get always or 90 percent the post has been used but sometimes if the third party system basically requires more authentication if they tells you that hey our uh, authentication token basically is very much restricted and uh, every time or after seven days that particular token would be invalid then you can use there is one option more that is get option so the get option would be another mode which you can use to generate the authentication token but most of the times basically we use this particular post because we are posting the request to access the third party application then the locations that where do you want to use your or you want to show your canvas app details so these are the things basically if you configure then your canvas app would be generated and once your canvas app would be generated where you can see the details you just go to canvas app previewer and here basically you can see the canvas app so see here whatever the url basically i have given over here that particular url is showing over into my salesforce application as like a canvas okay now the thing is that there is another option salesforce is giving to you that is heroku quick start now heroku quick start basically you need to install your heroku toolkit first thing second thing is that you need to have uh some more uh, uh, details about uh, your uh, about your Heroku uh, environment. You need to have your own uh, credentials to use your Heroku, and using those basically you can configure the uh, Heroku Canvas app or something. You can configure and then you can give the API key or OAuth. Then you need to just create that, and similarly a third party application or third party uh, external system would be created using that and the same thing you can integrate using your salesforce so that the heroku app whatever i am going to create i can show it over here now where i can show this particular canvas app this is the place where i have seen a preview right now if i go and if i just close this and if uh, you remember that i have selected in the visual force page chatter every section so if i will just try to access chatter over here then my canvas app would be visible okay so if you see this canvas app what will happen this particular application whatever i have configured over there it would be straightforward it would be coming over here so that's the basics of your canvas app now the thing is that you may tell that hey i have a complex requirement where the canvas app whatever i would like to show it over here that basically needs to incorporate with some of my business logic right those business logic i have written inside the apex class how can i do that you always go to again setup then always go to 
app and here under the app section just go to connected app where you have configured your canvas app and inside this particular canvas app section you do have a section called life cycle class okay so what will happen if i will try to edit this okay let me try to edit this so what happened i can see that the all classes whatever i have configured i can select it over here now how this particular application will work so when this canvas app would be embedded inside your salesforce it will always passes through this particular life cycle class so while the apex class logic whatever i have written that automatically invokes first okay everything would be validated by my apex class after that it will go and it will go to this particular permitted section right that what are the permission given for this canvas app remember in the manage policies i have shown you that admin are approving and users can authorized by self right there are the two options so those two options comes into the picture and ultimately your canvas app would be invoked and show you the details so this is the brief about the canvas app guys uh, i thought to go into detail but uh, if i'll go then it may take some more time so what we can do uh, if possible we can arrange a separate section or separate session for continuation of that uh, but uh, that's the end of my session if you have any question i mean uh, the basics the uh, the very much uh, uh, start of the canvas app you can ask thank you sayanta i have some questions mm -hmm. so uh, i'm trying to understand like how the authentication uh, from salesforce to the external application which is embedded into the salesforce that happens and what role does the connected app play in the entire uh, authentication mechanism this whole thing is like little confusing okay so first you tell me one thing that when i have configured a connected app right what does we do what what is our basic or primary parameters what we do we come over here and we create a connected app right and after we save the connected app we always receives this particular consumer key and the consumer secret isn't it you are you are good in that right right sir Correct. So once I will receive this particular consumer key and I will re I will get my consumer secret. What we need to do? We need to just copy this particular details, consumer key and the consumer secret, and we need to pass to the that particular system or the third party system, which basically we are trying to invoke, right? Or from the third party system wh where we are trying to invoke inside our Salesforce, correct? right so the same thing basically we can uh, do or we can pass into our postman right so if you just go to postman let me see where i have my postman installed or not yeah so if you go to postman So inside the postman, basically, what we do, we just create, uh, we just pass all the details over here, right? We just pass this, uh, the, the, the API key, the values, all the details, basically, we pass, right? So what happens, so this client, consumer key secret all the details once you will pass it automatically uh, authorization tokens generate right right 
after after is spoken the third party system can access our salesforce and can access all of our salesforce data correct right. so same concept lies over here and that particular consumer key consumer secret basically can be invoked through this callback ur now the callback ur is nothing but your third party application or the external system applications url so this is the url we are referring while configuring the connected app the same concept lying over here the only difference is that that this is the canvas app url you are configuring so that it would be embedded as an canvas app and it would be following the post method rest all rest all the authentication mechanism remains the same as like your connected app as like your authentication token every time you configure a connected app and that connected app you try to uh hit from the external system it will hit or it will be or the connection will be established with a session token and the session tokens would be valid till that time the session is established same logic remains here as for your canvas app also okay uh one more question so it is only the excel system which is trying to access the salesforce system and trying to show itself in the salesforce application uh we are not sending any username and password to the excel system to access the excel system and make it available in the salesforce is my understanding correct you you come again sorry i didn't get the i didn't heard it up the excel we are not sending any username or password uh, to the excel system to access the excel system it is only excel system which is accessing the excel yeah. system correct so the excel system is the main system over here we are just embedding that particular system inside our salesforce so we are not sending any particular user id or details or credential details to that system all we are configuring we are configuring this uh, authentication mechanism inside our uh, this section and passing the details for this particular url so ultimately this two things concatenate generates an authentication token that authentication token again concatenate with your this canvas url and after that particular things all been established this section comes into the picture and that will play the role to show the application inside your salesforce okay got it the some information of course uh, just continuation and the uh, santa of course some information we have to share to the third party system otherwise how the system will know okay i have to show what right so if you are as he discussed i need to show the table report or dashboard or i want to show the instant analytic for so, okay so in your client if you are working on a client based system okay let's say you are uh, opening one ibm system client okay so that uh, instant instant analytic page should only show your related data so how they will show because something we have to pass to that instant analytic system or the canvas application okay you need to show only this user or this client's detail that we have to share with that thing. otherwise basically how the that can system canvas system will know okay for this is the thing which we have to show in this uh, salesforce application so that information like we normally pass a third party uh, api okay these are the credentials these are the parameter for the system to call like we need to show the client information you need to show for this uh, area the unit is show for the, this state so those parameter will be shared between right that's that's why they will able to give you correct detail about client you are some uh, about client and specific area basically okay Good. but the authentication basically remains uh, over here right the yeah. same the same mechanism corrected app authentication is the same for all connection okay exactly. even the normal rest api also you call 
the same mm -hmm. consumer key consumer secret will be used same connect callback url we use same kind of access to can like a selected what scope we have provided we are providing additional thing we are getting in canvas is that we are getting the what canvas application we are uh integrating ourselves that's that is the additional piece we are doing right here that's okay. the same right okay sure in normal sure. connected up also like if you are going with a third party integration with the normal any rest api or aws call you are also referring that callback url so once the authentication authorization is basically done which page of the Salesforce application you want to open so we are always always actually uh, put that information normally we put anything like a normal org detail we are putting so instead of all the org detail we are putting the canvas application url so whenever the authentication is done we need to call this canvas application because it's not necessary that only there is only one canvas application probably you have 10 canvas application which is showing on your Salesforce application so which application you want to open when this authentication is done so this is the url for that application canvas application which you need to open so like in chatter application when client is this you want to open this particular canvas application so that kind of consideration that uh, kind of thing we can do through the callback qr or we can update it uh, through apex as well so we can see, we can see that um, like a more advanced version or for how we go with the best practices how we consume or something probably he's already said that we probably we have another session with uh, those concept we can see that okay sure that helps thank you thank thank you, thank you Sam. Thank you. Any, any more question? Very good. Okay. Thank you. So okay. thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much to all. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Yep. Thank you guys.